So what can we deduce from that? Well, at the moment, we've got the volatility in the markets is increasing. We're coming into next week's FOMC statement, which is only just under a week away now, which typically is a catalyst for some great trade opportunities as we move towards the end of September and into October as well. And alongside that, we also have the elections which are coming up. The presidential debates will start at the end of September and we have the elections coming up at the beginning of November. So there's plenty of opportunities that we see in the markets now in the weeks ahead. So if we go over and just break it down and have a look now at the gold market. Now, gold is also providing some nice support here following on from non-farm payrolls at the beginning of this month. So non-farm payrolls were a miss. We held on to the 1300 zone. From there, we've continued to rotate higher. We had a five, just under 500 point gain to the upside following on from non-farm payrolls. We've now since retraced. We've created a higher low so far, building up a supportive layer here around the 1315 zone and we've also got a pennant formation now this is very typical again prior to major news items like fomc statements that you typically see the price structure get tighter and tighter we've essentially got higher lows for gold at the moment but also we've got lower highs as well as we're building into a pennant which typically you would expect to get an explosive breakout from that as we go into the fomc statement so at the moment right now for gold it has moved into, of course, the bull market this year, gold up over 25% in 2016. It's got strong underlying support at the moment, number one at the 1300 level, which is the level that we broke out from, from Brexit. This is a, a zone that we closed above. We closed into 1315 on the close after Brexit. We since found support at that level. So previous resistance at 1300 has now become support. And more recently, we've found support again at the lower end of this trend channel, which you definitely want to make sure you have on your chart because a lot of technical traders are using this underlying supportive channel for gold here to add to their position. So all you need to do is go back in the chart, go back to December, find the swing lows from December, from January through to June, through to July, the more recent swing lows at the end of August, at the beginning of September, connect those levels. And you can see here where gold continues to find support support at the lower end of that channel. And I do believe we've got some good trade opportunities here as we head into next week's FOMC statement here, given the overall price structure, a pennant formation where we see the price get tighter and tighter with higher lows, lower highs, typically gives rise to some really decent breakout trades. Now, historically, if you go back to 2015, 14, 13, 2012, 2011, a typical September FOMC statement causes a breakout in the region of about 500 points for gold within about a seven day period. Now, typically um, over the last couple of years, we have seen those breakouts over shorter durations of time. We've seen 500 point moves within about 48 hours, but normally we get a prolonged move towards the end of September. So you can expect initially a catalyst the FOMC statement next Wednesday being a catalyst for short term direction. Then once we pick a direction with gold, with silver, with the US dollar, I would expect some follow through certainly until the end of next week and then into the following week as well. I'll be watching that very closely for more momentum as we continue to evolve into the end of September and then we move into October as well. So for me, gold and silver are absolutely on the radar at the moment. I do like the fact that gold actually yesterday produced a rejection candle at the lower end of this trend channel. Essentially what I'd like to see today in order to hold this level would be a break back above 1,326 US dollars to get some follow through above that level, close above that zone as well. So we're ricocheting at the moment this week between about the 1315 zone up to the 1330 level. If we can get a breakout and get some clearance above 1330 and get a retest of the upper end of this trend channel, it does bode well for the gold bulls at the moment. Now we